Hey you beautiful big kids, it's your boy Zatch and welcome back to some more Alchemy Stars. In today's video we're going over a Rune to Aim for Beginner Edition. Because someone asked me, you know, who should they summon for? And well this is a long version of that answer because I gave him a quick short version, but I told him I would make a video about it, so here it is. So we have just broken characters, broken but exclusive characters, good to have characters, characters that get better over time, and characters who are nice to have at the start of the game. So we have 50 Aurorians here, and we're going to go through them all pretty fast, so get ready for this. I hope you can keep up. That's not with Beth Ham. She's a broken, exclusive character. And you would need two copies of her because she needs Preemptive Strike. And Preemptive Strike is it just allows you to use her skill at the beginning of the game, or well, the beginning of the battle. Her skill is selecting any four tiles and turning them to blue, which is really strong because, well, selectable tile conversion is really strong. You want to put tiles wherever you want. It's just crazy. Next up, Carlene. This is one of the bias. If there's ever a bias one in here, I'll let you know, but this is very biased. I just love Carlene. She's one of my favorite characters, part of the main cast. I love Carlene. Um, she does get better over time. As in, you know, if, if you pour more copies of her randomly over time, she becomes really good. She has a teleport column conversion, which is very nice. And she does some pretty good damage. Next up, someone who's just good to have is Roy. Um, he's a five star who heals and can convert tiles to yellow. So yeah, yeah, and it's selectable. So yeah, he's pretty good. Next up, Luis, Hydrad, and Ishvan. These are all um, chain combo doublers, which means it, they allow you to use a chain combo twice. So they're good for burst teams and things like that. So they're just good to have. Alice is a nice healer to have at the beginning of the game. She does get replaced by Novio, but also Le Quing here, who is a free character who you can uh, get from an event. His event isn't back yet, but it should be coming back pretty soon, if I'm not crazy it should be two events away but yeah so when his events back you can literally just do the event and get him for free Yuria is a good healer overall because she can also go on a enhanced tower team as a healer florine is just like these three right here a double chain combo but a lot better because she's a six star instead so yeah she allows you to do a lot more damage compared to these two because multipliers are different that that's pretty much it but she is really good excel is a character who's really good but she also gets better over time so because by herself she really doesn't do much but she does allow other characters to become a lot better because she can duplicate other Roy's abilities while she's a native healer um like Roy's bees she can make more bees so you can convert tiles or um so if we go like ahead like reinhardt she allows you to put down more of reinhardt's airstrikes to get more damage so she just allows other Roy's to do more goldie another exclusive character meaning she'll be around once every blue moon but she is really good she's a part of the enhanced style team she pretty much allows the enhanced style team to go crazy she generates enhanced tiles she heals she has a whole area a we attack and she allows you to run on enhanced tiles as if there's chromatic tiles the catch is she has two modes she has her healing mode and then she has her attack mode and going back and forth between them in the attack mode you can walk on tiles you know however you want the enhanced tiles that is as if they're chromatic tiles but then in the healing mode you obviously heal look at the character that get better over time the more shield characters you have the better look gets and she allows for some pretty fun play styles because she turns shields into damage and it's 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 just it's funny um she allowed shield nuking to be a thing which is very fun all right now we're about to put up all the next characters because there's a lot of them and then we'll talk about them. all right now that they're all up so one two three four are all summonable six stars who have the same effect as all these other characters but they're just six stars so all of these characters right here are four tile converters with premium to st strike built into their kits and they all have two turn cooldowns so these four right here are four stars these one two three four five right here are all five stars and these right here are free five stars that you can get from events so yeah all these are like must on most teams they're just too good having you know four tile conversion and that's two turn cooldown that also premium strike without having any dupes it's just really good and most if not all teams have two of them on there so yeah these are characters that you should always look out for and these two are free and one two three four can all be get getting or gotten in a free manner of some sort just putting it out there barton maggie nemesis and sakari all four of them are all the same they're all cross tile converters with five turn cooldowns but they get better over time with their first dupe their cooldowns go to four turns and when at max dupes they get preemptive strike so that's why they're in the get better over time and since they are five stars you can pull them more randomly as you're going for six stars and then you know once they get maxed out they their value just increases exponentially because having is such high conversion at the beginning of a game is just really nice Pasola is a four star who is just pretty nice to have as you know a, a extra converter because she does convert and she does do bleed her conversion is pretty nice and that's pretty much it she just has a single tile conversion that's just pretty nice with the amount of damage that she can do for herself uni 
and tiny one are just little converters who are nice to use at the beginning of the game. After a while, they will fade out of your teams, but at the same time, they are such a little rarities and you'll probably pull them that they're just good to use at the early stages of the game. Azure's disgusting. She does way too much. The majority of people try not to use her because of how good she is. Um, she has her own like 20% damage buff. She can technically use her chain combo twice by herself. Um, she her, her chain combo is one of the best in the game that just does so much damage and she can convert a single tile to blue like any selectable tile so yeah she does a lot and she's pretty disgusting me it was our sixth star for the second anniversary so she will not be back for a while but keep her in mind whenever she does come back because she's the queen of shields and yeah she does good damage while also having high sustainability so she's like the entire pack of damage and sustain haiti is a character who has a very risky playstyle who likes to you know do a lot more damage at lower health so if you like that playstyle, she is someone to keep in mind and the damage you get for being at low health is really good so yeah now we have michael michael does health damage and has a teleport that does damage along the way so yeah it's pretty good the health damage is really nice as well and for the longest time they was they were one of the highest damage dealers in the game just a good character just to have um she is very team focused meaning uh, she needs characters with really low cooldowns so she buff her test mark so she can nuke people she's pretty much a real gun character you build up the stacks and then you can just shoot them in the face and kill them. Fia is really strong because she has a defensive shred and she can actually allow you to do more damage against fire characters by increasing the counter damage by, well, elemental counter damage by 50%. And if it's not a fire character, she increases it by 10%. So overall, she's just a pretty crazy character and her multipliers and her active skill are stupid, especially if you get some dupes in there. Hero, really good character, does great damage and can collect, collect? select two tiles to convert to green. Reinhardt is the complete package literally she's a sniper detonator and support all wrapped up into one character again she's an exclusive character so she's only around once every blue moon and she's one of those exclusive characters who you would like to have at least a dupe in so just keep that in mind now this is a good uh low rarity damage dealer who does more damage the higher your health is slash lower your health is he has a mixture of both because he's the only real person in the game who has true health damage aside from haiti joshua isn't broken because even though she is a newer character the fact is if you pull her by accident and as a new to play character the amount of you know ease you're gonna have going through the story in game becomes a, a lot higher because she does just trivialize many stages because of how she works just ignore shields and has one of the best executes in the game she's just really good hachi and Guinness requires brain cells to use man i i can't explain another way you just have to really play around them to the fullest and they'll do good damage yo can't remember her name i don't know why she's the only one in the game i can't remember but she is pretty good um pretty good chain combo she has a self buff of i think it's 20 or 15 percent i can't remember so she has a self buff and her active skill is like a semi nuke but she also is a free character that you can get from an event so that's another bonus allure is a pretty good sniper who can build up stacks and do pretty good damage and she is free for rare's rarity being a five star she's disgusting piercing damage self buff and great chain combo she's up here with the brokers even though she's a five star she's one of the first characters that can do a lot of good things that you might want to keep in mind and actually build up if you do have her sensa good active skill does more damage i believe the closer you are um has a defensive shred and pretty good chain combo overall just a nice well-rounded you know character i one only not only one of the one of the characters in the game that can apply poison at a good amount to enemies and she is kind of needed to make some stages easier in certain parts of the game so just keeping her in mind it's just you know a good idea nadine is a healer who can select any tile and make it yellow so she has healing and slight tile converting so she's like a less good roy but she is at a lower rarity let's try is a healer who can teleport and heal and create shields and she that's all she does she all only heals like pretty much only heals and teleports no no she doesn't do damage at all and brock is a nice character to have at the start of the game to help you do a little bit more damage you know a little bit more final damage but other than that those are my 50 characters that are nice to keep in mind and to aim for as a you know beginner in this game i think we went over all the really important ones if i didn't remind me um there's like over 200 characters in this goddamn game and just selecting 50 was already hard enough but anyways i hope this helps and i hope you enjoyed the video like comment, subscribe about good stuff i'll see you on the next one love you guys and bye bye